Hi guys, today I'm here with a bonus video and I hope you don't get sick of seeing my face because although I'm not doing Vlogmas, I'm doing like over 24 videos this month I think. There's so many holiday things I want to talk about. I have the 12 days of foundation so get used to it. You're going to be seeing a lot of me. Today we're going to be chatting about products that I think are super giftable, but they're permanent and available all year round. There are so many products and it can get really overwhelming during the holiday season because there's just so many things to choose from. And a lot of the time we forget about the cute and giftable items that are permanent and available all year round. And if you have a beauty lover in your life and you want to gift them something that you know that they can repurchase, or you're not sure about holiday sets because sometimes the packaging is so bulky or there's like 20 lipsticks in a set or sometimes the quality can kind of go down during the holidays these are a few options that are available all year round whether you want to gift them to yourself or somebody else that being said I will have a holiday roundup of holiday stuff coming up soon but I wanted to give you another option as well so let's go ahead and get started I think one of the easiest things to pick up for somebody and can always come in cute packaging and even if you're buying high-end can be a little bit more affordable if you're just buying one as a gift for somebody is lipsticks and so many brands have cute a lipstick packaging I have like a literal can you hear that that's like the pile of lipsticks I have on my lap so I'm just gonna quickly go through some brands and highlight packaging and formulas that I think are good and then of course you would be able to pick out the shade that works best for whoever you're buying it for or maybe you're buying it for yourself I do a lot of that during the holidays first let's talk about the most obvious one of the bunch this is the Fenty Stunna lip paint in the shade uncensored it's what I'm wearing today and this is a gift like you don't need to wrap this you could put a bow on it if you want it seems like Fenty is starting to like kind of crack into like mainstream human people outside of the YouTube world a lot of people who I know who don't really even wear a lot of makeup are wearing Fenty gloss bomb all the time so I think that this could be a really beautiful giftable option I mean it seems like everybody already owns it but if somebody doesn't they could own this and this would be a great gift then there's the super high-end kind of more luxury brands that basically all year round their lipstick packaging especially is incredibly luxe so you have these YSL lipsticks and these are just gorgeous gold the kind of thing that you want to take out and touch up your lipstick with then you also have a Guerlain which looks like a little golden snowman it's so pretty it's almost like a matte gold which I think is really unique and then also from Charlotte Tilbury these are beautiful rose gold they look so kind of vintagey and old-school and I think that these could again be a really nice kind of vanity purse option and something that barely needs wrapping I also want to mention the Estee Lauder pure color love lipsticks these are exclusive to shoppers drug mart in Canada but they are available in the United States as well not only is the packaging gorgeous on these but I have been incredibly obsessed with the formula especially the matte super long wearing so if you don't want to buy somebody a liquid lipstick because they may not be comfortable with that something like this is so beautiful and the packaging is stunning and then we can't go a giftable video without talking about the Too Faced peachy collection basically anything in that collection is super giftable and gorgeous and cutesy but the lipsticks especially are really gorgeous the gold the tiny peach they have the lipstick shade on the top the lipstick itself is embossed with peaches it's just it's adorable the holidays can sometimes be a time to buy things that you don't really need or you're not sure if they're actually gonna do much and they're just kind of pretty that being said I do think that these next products do something but they're also incredibly gorgeous and so luxe looking if you have a real true makeup lover in your life giving them one of these I think is just super special you've heard me rave about the YSL Touche Clot blur primer before this blew me away it's one of the few primers that I've tested that I truly feels like it actually truly feel like it actually does something and then I've also been testing out this new one from Guerlain because I really wanted to see if they were similar and this is the Guerlain Lore which is gold in French I think I'm butchering it but both of these are so pretty again beautiful vanity items and they're the kind of thing that a lot of people won't actually buy for themselves so depending on your budget who you're buying for how much you love them these could be a good option to put under the tree for them eyeshadow palettes are another great option that a lot of the time comes in cute packaging or it's something that somebody would have really kind of lusted after but didn't buy for themselves so I've got three different palettes here depending on the kind of person that you're buying for the first one is the colored rain Queen of Hearts palette. If you have someone who is super into makeup, this is a great option because it's not incredibly readily available, but it's something that a lot of people know about. And this palette actually came back. It was limited edition. I actually got this for Christmas last year, and I was so excited to get this because the shades in here are so beautiful, especially for somebody with a deeper skin tone because you don't have anything that's too light in here. This shade looks really light. It's what I have on my inner corner, but it's just so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing on my 
my eyes today. You can get day looks, night looks, the foil shades are so impactful, the mattes are beautiful, and it's such a nice palette. I don't want to say that it's underrated, but it definitely doesn't get a ton of love. Two palettes that do get a ton of love, however, but I think are great giftable options. The Just Peachy Mattes palette, again, coming back to the Too Faced Making Adorable Products thing, but it's, it's adorable, but it still feels like an adult product, if that makes sense. It's gold, it's still kind of sophisticated, and the shades in here are just so nice. It may encourage someone to step out of their comfort zone, similar to, with, to the way that modern renaissance kind of like woke everybody up to reds and pinks and burnt oranges being wearable. This is kind of that, but in an all matte format. The peachy scent is really cute and the packaging is adorable. And then something for somebody who maybe isn't as into makeup or as a beginner, or you just want to buy them something special. The Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is the original matte one. If you know somebody that has the matte, you could also pick them up the glimmer. But this is just the kind of thing that I think everybody can get use out of, whether they want to just use it as transition shades, whether they just want to do something super neutral and go matte on the eyes all the time. It's a great palette, really, really good quality. And the packaging she has actually since updated, I think this year, and it has this kind of more touchy-feely format to it, which makes it look super luxe. Blushes are another item that can just be so cute and such a good gift item from Clinique. This is one of their cheek pops. It's what I'm wearing today in the shade Cherry Cola. This is the kind of shade that looks really scary in the pan. I'm wearing it on my cheeks now. I don't think it looks too scary, but of course they do have a big variety of shades. They also make single eyeshadows that look like this and they're just so pretty. The embossed flower in there is really nice, lasts a long time. It doesn't like buff away as soon as you put your brush in there. And then the clear packaging, I'm always a huge fan of this kind of like clear acrylic packaging and then a blush that you're not going to be shocked to see in here although I haven't mentioned it lately because it was just kind of overkill is the Balm Instain blushes these are just adorable anything from the Balm and like Too Faced I feel like they're really good giftable brands but these are just so cute they look like little magazines and I absolutely love these blushes the formula is beautiful there's six different shades to choose from so depending on what formula the shades are a little bit bolder I would guess um, but something like Swiss Dot is a favorite of mine. It's a nice peachy shade. Then there's also Houndstooth, which is a little bit more mauve. So of course it's going to depend on who you're buying it for, but this is the kind of thing that is just so adorable. A great drugstore option that is just so pretty is the Sleek Cleopatra palette. This is a highlighting palette with two shimmers and two powders in here. If you live in the United States, Sleek is available at Ulta Online. Don't know about in store. I haven't been in store in quite some time, but if you live in Canada or elsewhere, they do ship internationally. And I have ordered from them a few times and have had a really good experience. Shipping was under $10, I believe, and they make really beautiful stuff that doesn't look drugstore. It does have this kind of more high-end look. It's more sleek and doesn't have a bunch of like the silly brushes and more bulky packaging that can kind of come with drugstore products. And then from Anastasia, if you have somebody who loves to glow, I think that these palettes are so good. They have so many that keep coming in and out of stock, so I have no idea what's available and what's not. But overall, any of these palettes are really good. I have the one Sun Dipped, which I don't know if it exists anymore, but she did come out with another one for the holidays, which is permanent, I believe, and there's a few other ones. They also have the more duochrome and more interesting shades, so if you have somebody who likes that kind of thing, that is available. But overall, these are really high quality, beautiful and glowy, and the packaging isn't like super holiday and super fun, but it does look really beautiful. It has a nice weight to it and feels really high quality. I know a lot of the stuff that I'm mentioning here today is high-end, but they do seem to have some of the cuter stuff. I know that there is a ton of cute drugstore stuff out there too, but I definitely did want to highlight the Physicians Formula Butter products. I think that these are so high quality and the formula is really, really beautiful, unique to the drugstore, and the packaging is quite cute as well, and 9 out of 10 people seem to really enjoy that vacation-y scent. For me, the standout of the collection are the highlighters. I think that these are phenomenal. Then they also have the Butter Black blushes which are beautiful they have extended the shade range you should should see the deeper shades in Canada starting next month and then they've also extended the shade range of the bronzers which I will be reporting back on in a video in the new year as well but overall if you're looking for a more affordable option that's still cute and still high quality I definitely recommend the physicians formula butter products brushes are another great thing that I think you can give to somebody and during the holidays there's a lot of brush sets that come out that you'll see at the drugstore and they can be kind of they're not that good, they're not very usable. Something like Real Techniques, I definitely recommend anything they do, but especially the Bold Metals line. I think that the, oh, <laughs> the Bold Metals, the Bold 
bold metal line. I'm holding two sets of brushes in my hand. The bold metals line. These are just beautiful. They come to this nice point. They come in a bunch of different shades. This is the powder brush here. I also have the blush brush, which is my absolute favorite for setting my under eye or blotting throughout the day. And that is like in a purse somewhere. I don't know where. And then this that I was showing you earlier is the e.l.f. Beautifully Precise line, which is a little bit up there in price in comparison to e.l.f. products, but I think they're all still under 10 or $11. But this is even um, really, really pretty. It has, again, comes to that point, which makes it look super luxe, and it has a clear with the silver barrel. So these are beautiful. And then Wet n Wild also came out with some rose gold brushes, which I haven't tried, but they have that kind of pretty metally pointy thing going on. I want to give a quick shout out to the Essie Gel Couture. The packaging is super cute, but I primarily want to mention this just because I think the quality is phenomenal. I have been blown away by this line. I love nail polish. I paint my nails all the time, two or three, every two or three days, because I enjoy switching it up. But there's times where, whether I was traveling for work last year, going on vacation, times when I don't want to have to worry about painting my nails. But for me, I chip my nails within 12 hours of painting them, no matter what. But this line truly is so good. I have worn this for like seven or eight days at a time, and yes, I will get like wear along the tips of my nails, but I won't get actual chips. And there's nothing worse than having chips in your nails and just like feeling like it just feels dirty and uncomfortable. I know I feel that way anyways. I mean, I can't speak for you, but this is just such a good line. There is a ton of shades. There's sheer shades, there's more opaque shades, brights, nudes, pinks, blues, whatever it may be. The brush makes it really easy to paint your nails, and this top coat in general is great. I love it with other nail polish as well but together they are just so good so good it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now I'm wearing the shade um, matter of friction which is a new shade to them but they just have so many good shades and I couldn't recommend it enough the last things that I want to mention are two skincare items and they can be a little bit tricky to gift depending on how close you are to somebody but these are two items that I just think are so cute and the first is from L'Oreal this is brand new to their line it's their pure sugar scrub and it might just be because I love kiwis they were my favorite like fruit when I was a baby like I loved kiwis salad was also my favorite snack like what happened to me but anyways this is so cute so whether somebody really likes kiwis or likes fun skincare I think that this is adorable it's a sugar scrub it's green it has actual kiwi seeds in there like it looks like you smushed up a kiwi and some sugar and put it in here so I just think that that is the cutest thing. I don't know why I love it so much. And then also from e.l.f., this is their magnetic mask. I did a demo of this a while back on Instagram. I'll link to it down below. But if you have a skincare junkie or somebody who likes to have a little bit more fun with their makeup and skincare, this is another great option. And I was at an e.l.f. event months back and they were talking about some of their skincare items. I also have, I forgot to mention, their uh, bubble mask too. So these are two really fun options that they call skin entertainment. So it's a combination of skincare and entertainment and these are really nice products. I think that they do nice things for my skin but at, at the same time they're just kind of fun. And skincare, things like bath bombs, all that kind of stuff is just taking a break, taking a little time for yourself and these are really nice options. They're on the more affordable side. They're both under $20 I think. So this is the hydrating bubble mask. They also have a mattifying bubble mask and then and this is the charcoal mask that is magnetic. So you put it all over your face, you get this stick and you like, and it's just the most satisfying, cool thing ever. So I think that they could be really fun gifts for like a secret Santa, socking stuffer, or anybody who just enjoys skincare. I hope you enjoyed this roundup of some fun, giftable things. Let me know if you liked this idea and I will definitely do it during the holidays again next year. It's something that I hadn't really seen come up. I mean, I'm sure it has been done a thousand times over, but I thought it might be a nice idea just to kind of like reel it back and talk about some things that are more permanent but that being said I will have a holiday video up <laughs> very very soon so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye